Hello and welcome to this fresh episode of Tech Quantum and we are back with Rachik Gurg with some new questions. Well, before I start this session, let me first appreciate uh, the interest that you have been showing in this particular channel and the likes and comments that you have been, uh, you know, sharing with us. Please keep that coming because that is very important for us to choose our next topics. Well, Hello and welcome, Rachid. Hi, Parish. Hello, viewers. Thank you for all the support and feedback. So, Rachid, based on our previous videos, you had mentioned something about business events in finance and operations, with which mm -hmm. I think you can uh, share uh, notifications with ex external systems. So, in this video, if you can share some light on what are business events, or at least what is the framework in fi finance and operations, I would really appreciate that. Sure, Parish. So, let's talk about business events framework in this video. So I would uh, not go too technical, but I will try to explain the concept of this framework so that we can uh, realize the value of this framework and we can use it uh, wherever we feel it, it makes sense in the project. So this business event framework was introduced in Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations long back, but it, it was not really too much used. But now I see it has catched a lot of attention and the, the customers and partner, partners have realized the potential of this framework. The main objective of this framework is to send out notifications outside Dynamics to tell external systems that something has happened in Dynamics. Now, as the name suggests, business events, it's an event which has a business meaning attached to it. So for example, consider a scenario like a sales quotation has been confirmed and it became a sales order. So in this situation, you might want to notify your uh, sales team. And that's where you might need to integrate with your 3PL systems. And instead of writing code or customizing dynamics to call those APIs, what we can do is we can use business event framework to send out this notification outside dynamics. And the listeners who are listening to these notifications can then in turn call the third party APIs or take some other action which they want to take. Okay, so I am in Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations uh, and I will open the business event catalog form. So this is a form which will display all the business events in this application. Now what you see here is a list of business events which are available out of the box. So you can see the list is quite long and Microsoft is adding more and more events uh, with new releases. And there is a category linked to the events. There is a business event ID. There is a name which is quite self-explanatory and there is a short description which you see on the right hand side that what that event is actually related to. So for example, if a free text invoice is posted, then the business event is triggered. On the right hand side, what you see is the list of fields which are sent out in the notification of this business event. And you can actually click on this button and download this schema, which is basically a sample JSON payload, which you can share with your uh, listeners or other applications in your IT landscape or your integration platforms that this is the sample payload which Dynamics will send when this business event will get triggered. One interesting thing about business events is the categories. So there are three major categories. One is alerts. So alerts can be captured as business events and this becomes a very powerful and generic platform because alerts can be configured throughout the application on various forms. Uh, so that has that is quite powerful here and even in in alerts you can also capture due date alerts so for example your customer invoice is due in three days and you have set up a due date alert you can actually send out this notification to outside dynamics and then in turn that listener can send for example a sms to your customers you don't need to customize dynamics for such scenarios then the second category is all about the business uh, category. So if you see here accounts receivable, accounts per re accounts uh, receivable, accounts payable, purchase orders, all these things have their business events. So this list is quite good. And then the third category is workflow. So workflow is a framework within Dynamics for 
approval mechanisms and you can send out these workflow notifications outside dynamics now this takes workflow to the next level where you can leverage all the uh, capabilities of for example power platform or power automate to build your own workflows so this was about the catalog these are the business events which out of the box can be sent out but who is listening to these events so that's where the concept of endpoint comes so endpoints are the for are the listeners to these business events and you can configure your endpoints so when you go to configure endpoint you will see the list of supported endpoint types now this is a list of uh, components which can basically listen to these events and here you see azure service bus azure event grid azure event hub https which is a example where you can call a azure function directly so these are the standard endpoints available which can listen to these business events you can add your custom endpoints as well so this is about endpoints now when business event occurs and there is an active endpoint the payload gets sent out in case the endpoint is down it gets captured in the error log so that as an administrator you can monitor this screen and you can see if a business event payload has not been successfully sent out you can resend from it and this error log is basically uh, getting captured based on a parameter so there is a retry count so business event framework will retry for for example by default three times at with this wait time and if the endpoint is down it will capture in the error log so i hope this gives a quick summary of business events framework parish Oh, that was really good overview and i was really happy to see the framework over there uh, rachet and especially the list of the business events i mean that list was huge and if it is out of the box then most of the uh, you know requirements of the customers will be satisfied by that but that also uh, makes me ask you one more question is it possible to create a business event yes of course parish so we can create our own custom business events in the application using x++ code so there is a framework provided by microsoft it it use we can use those base classes to create our own business events so absolutely we can create our own uh, custom business events that was really nice rachet uh, thank you very much for that and i hope viewers you have got a good overview of what business events are and what is the framework that is available in finance and operations now if you want to see a working example uh, for business events let's say a short working example then please share your comments and if there are enough comments we will definitely come back with a video for that so for now we will wrap up this video i would request you to keep uh, you know sharing uh, your comments keep liking it and do do not forget to subscribe to this channel so bye for now thank you viewers bye for now please hit the like button and do subscribe to the channel take care